Well, hello there, everyone. Hello and good afternoon from the UK. Here is Mr. Duncan. Yes, I am here. It is a very special day. I am just waiting for everyone else to join me on the live stream today. It is a very special live stream. I hope you can hear me. If you can hear me right now, please let me know. Please say, Mr. Duncan, we can hear you. Can you hear me? I really, really hope so. If you can't hear me, then this is going to be a very short live stream. <laughs> so good. Yes, we have just had a mic check. Yes, my microphone is working. That's good. Yes, we can hear you, Mr. Duncan. Thank you so much. So I'm just waiting for everyone else to join in with today's live stream. This is a special live stream. I will explain everything very soon. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. This is one of my spontaneous, unannounced, surprise live streams. So this is something that I had planned, but I decided to keep secret. But here I am now today, here on YouTube, live as live can be. I hope you are well today. I'm just waiting for everyone else to join me. There are quite a few people on Facebook who do not know that I am here. So I have just let all of my followers on Facebook know that I am now here on YouTube. So we are now live as live can be. Welcome to my live stream for this special day. It is Thursday, June the 8th. Now, for many people, today is just a normal day. But here in the UK, today is a very special day because it is... Well, I will tell you in a moment. <laughs> so I'm just waiting for everyone to join me. I think there are still a few people to join. So as soon as we get everyone on here, we will get going. Now, quite a few people are saying, Mr. Duncan, we want to see you. We can't see you, Mr. Duncan. Where are you? Why is the screen grey? Well, that is because you can't see me yet. That's the reason why. So I am just making sure that everything works here. I hope you can hear me. OK, I hope you can hear me clearly. In a moment, you will also see me. But for the time being, it is sound only. I am waiting for everyone to join in with today's live stream. I can hear you, Mr. Duncan, but I can't see you. That's OK. No problem. You can hear me, but at the moment you cannot see me. I am waiting for everyone to join me. So as soon as we have everyone here, I will open the camera. So at the moment you can only hear me. But in a few moments, you will see me as well. Yes. And I have to say today, I have dressed up very smartly for today's special live stream. So thanks for joining me. I have just started today's live stream. So if you have just arrived, don't worry. You haven't missed anything yet. I've just started. So my name is Duncan and I am now here live on YouTube. It is a very special day here in the UK. But why? Why is today such a special day in the UK? Why? <laughs> Does anyone know? Oh. So we are waiting for everyone to join me. A big hello to those who have just joined me from Facebook. So I have just announced on Facebook that I am now here live on YouTube. So in a moment, I will reveal myself. I will let you see what I am wearing today. And I am looking rather smart today. I must say I have my very smart clothes on today. I have decided to dress up very smartly for today's live stream. So how many people are going to join us? 
another minute and then I will open the camera and we will get started just another minute to go and then we will get going <laughs> and then you will see why I am here all will be revealed as they say so I hope you can hear me okay it's a Thursday afternoon here in the UK it is now 16 minutes past one o'clock in the afternoon here in England here in the United Kingdom in fact so let's open the camera it is time to reveal myself to you <laughs> I hope you are ready for a shock here we go five four three two one <laughs> good afternoon and welcome hello there it is mr duncan live on youtube i hope you are okay today it is a very special day today can you see i am very very smart and dressed up for today's special live stream i am now broadcasting to you live from england thank you very much for joining me today so many people now on the live chat thank you very much for saying hello it is a special day here in england and across the uk in fact because today there is a general election the country votes for a new government today so i thought hmm why don't i do a special live stream for today's event so here i am there is an election taking place today here in the UK. We are voting for a new government here in the UK. So for the past seven weeks, everyone has been trying to make up their mind, trying to decide who will be the next government. And of course, normally we have four years of a new government. But this time we will have five years because the election has been called early. So that is the reason why. Here we are then live on YouTube. Many people now joining in. I think the word is getting around that Mr. Duncan is live on YouTube. Do you like my tie? <laughs> it's very patriotic, don't you think? So here we go. We are now live on the Internet on my mobile phone. Can I just point out that today I am actually talking to you on my mobile phone. So I'm not actually in my studio. I am on my mobile phone. So I hope you can hear me OK and I hope you can see me OK. So as I mentioned, I am here because today in the UK we have an election taking place and I thought it would be a good idea to have a look at some words some English words to do with everything that's taking place today so here we go we have I think we have about 16 words here 16 words maybe some of these words will be new words or perhaps some of these words will be words that you already know so maybe they will already be familiar to you so here we go here's the first word the first word i want to show you it is politics politics can you see that the word politics the word politics means governments or governance activities so activities by the government the beliefs and principles opinions and also views of the general public so there we go politics so that's the first word i want to show you a lot of people have certain opinions or points of view and normally we describe these things as politics so whatever your point of view is or whatever whatever your opinion is of something we often refer to them as your politics the things you think the things you have an opinion of so there we go the first word politics I'm sure a lot of people know this word because right now 
in the world not just the UK but around the world politics is a very hot topic I think you will agree you only have to look around YouTube to see that many people nowadays are making videos and they are talking all about the subject of politics so there it is today's first word on our politics special politics because today things are happening in the UK people are going out to vote for a new UK government if you've just joined me hello there it's Mr Duncan with a special live stream a mobile stream today and I am here to talk all about the election that is taking place right now here in the UK so for the past seven weeks the politicians have been out and about trying to get our votes here is another word for you mm -mm -mm. politician politician this is a word that many people tend to spell incorrectly they often spell the end of this word incorrectly so politician a politician is a person who has political views and represents a certain point of view in government so a politician a politician is involved in politics a person who represents maybe a certain area or a certain group of people or a certain point of view so politician or we can say politicians as the plural so there it is politician a person with political views and is involved in politics thank you very much if you just joined me welcome it's mr duncan i have now been here for around about 15 minutes live on youtube today is a special day in the uk because we are going out to vote today for a new government not four years but five years because of course theresa may called the general election early talking of which here is another word just for you election election the word election is basically a word that means to choose something new so you can elect someone and it can be for any position it doesn't doesn't have to be about politics it can be for anything really so you elect a person maybe to represent you or your area or your point of view so the election is held to choose a new person or a new leader or a new government or a person to represent you election election thank you very much for joining me if you have just joined me it's mr duncan on a special day because today it's election day we have an election taking place we normally refer to this type of election as a general election a general election so we are electing our representatives in government so a general election is held in the UK and that's when we decide who will lead the government the representatives of our country so it normally involves the UK so this is how we decide on who will run the country we call it a general election if you just joined me it's mr duncan and today is a special day we have lots of people to say hello to because at the moment i haven't said hello to anyone and we have lots of people now on the live chat so shall we say hello to some people i think so let's have a look shall we who has joined me today let's have a look shall we Rubagaline Rubagaline says Mr Duncan who are you going to vote for 
Wow, that's a very personal question, I must say. <laughs> Zana is here. Hello, Zana. Zana says hello to me. Hello to everyone watching at the moment on YouTube. It's a special live stream today because here in the UK we have an election taking place. We are now choosing a new government. Here's another word for you. Poll. Poll. The word poll means the process of voting in an election. So, if you have a poll, it normally means you decide on who will run your country. So, the process of voting in an election is poll. And the original meaning of the word poll is head. Head. So, there it is. Another word for you. The word is poll. Poll. And, of course, today people are polling. They are polling. They are going out to vote. Here is another word. This is a word that you hear quite often, in fact. So here is a special word. Some people will know this word and some people might not. Democracy. Ooh. So democracy is a system of government by the whole state. And also, don't forget, democracy gives everyone a chance to have a say in how the country is run. And the word democracy comes from the Greek for people power, which is demos kratia. So, democracy means people power. Democracy. Thank you for joining me today. We have lots of people now chatting to me. Let's have a look who is on. Nguyen Tien is here. Hello, Nguyen. Zana is here. Hello, Zana. Who do you think will win today's election? <gasps> I have no idea. I'm not an expert on politics. I am interested in politics. But I must admit, my, my feeling is that the result will be very close. That's all I'm saying for now. I think the result will be very close. In other words, the difference will be very small, very small. Zana also is giving an opinion. Don't forget, if I talk about opinions today, uh, they are probably not my opinions. So I'm not here today to talk about what I think. I am here to talk to you. I'm going to mention some new words. And if you want to voice your opinion, you are more than welcome to do so. But don't, don't forget, these aren't my opinions. I have to stay neutral. Hello, Salim is here. Hello to Salim. Thank you for joining me today. Satchim is here. Namaste from India. Hello to Sachin, watching at the moment in India. Right now, here in the UK, people all across the country are going out to vote for a new government. <laughs> I think some people are having a joke on here. Someone has put, I think Putin will win. I think that's that's a different country. That's not the UK. That's another country. <laughs> Rashid has also talked about democracy. Democracy is a system where the government is elected by the people of a country. That is what I said. Yes. So everyone has a chance to decide on who runs the country. Democracy. It is a word that we hear used quite often. Musab is here. Hello, Musab. Thanks for joining me today. Lots of people now on the live chat. Maria is here. Hello to Maria. 
thank you for joining me on this special election day live stream and of course we will be looking at some english words as well maria asks mr duncan have you voted yet not yet because i have been busy preparing this so at the moment i haven't voted but i will go out later today to cast my vote if you cast your vote it means you place your vote or you put forward your vote or you make your choice you cast your vote your vote is cast Anver is here hello Anver how are you today are you okay I really hope so Sandor asks can you explain how and where the English people vote yes I will mention that in a moment that is on my list of words <laughs> Zana says nowadays Putin is all over the world well I suppose it depends which newspapers you read and which websites you go to I think that depends on what your opinion would be hello everyone hello Mr Duncan I like your suit especially the smile do you like my little smiley face trying to cheer everyone up because of course over the past few weeks people have been going around the country here in the UK trying to get the vote trying to get them into Parliament to represent us all and of course there have been some some terrible events also taking place over the past four or five weeks where are you the beautiful garden behind you I am actually at home at the moment so I'm at home and what you can see behind me is Shropshire that is actually the Shropshire Hills and there just above my head you can see there just next to me there is the Reekin although it might be very bright out there today so you might not be able to see it when will the election be finished when will we know the results not until tomorrow morning so people will vote until 10 o'clock tonight so until 10 o'clock tonight people will have the chance to vote and then at 10 o'clock the polls will close so you won't be able to vote after 10 o'clock tonight and then of course people have to start counting the votes millions and millions of votes have to be counted of course some people don't vote in person they send their vote through the post so there are more than one way there's more than one way to vote so you can vote in person or you can vote through the post we call it a postal vote mixed berry is here i'm here but i don't know why that's okay even if you are completely confused you are very welcome to join me here today thank you very much for that thanks for the song and sorry for the grammar mistake don't worry Maria it's okay what will happen to the Queen is she going to be the Queen the Queen will always be the Queen so the Queen of England will always be the Queen the government and the royal family are actually separate they are now separate in fact it's been like that for for quite a few years <laughs> how do you vote mr duncan do you present yourself or do you vote from your house you normally go to a particular place a special place where you go inside and you cast your vote and then you put your vote inside a box you put it into a box alia is here hello alia and a big hello to Syria as well thank you very much for joining me today when do the polls close over there people will stop voting today at 10 p.m. so 10 o'clock at night the polls will close hello Mr Duncan it's my first time to join this chat well hello to you Iris you are more than welcome to join me today 
thank you for for joining me on this special election day live stream talking all about the english language but also talking about the events taking place today here in the uk here is another word for you party now sadly this isn't the party that you go to to eat cake and enjoy the festivities unfortunately this is a different type of party there are no balloons at this party so a party is a group of people who represent a certain group or a certain point of view party so in an election lots of different parties will try to get your vote so party another word for you now candidate 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 is the person who applies for a job or someone nominated to stand in an election so the candidate can be a person who applies for a job or it can be the person who is standing in an election so you are looking for people to vote for you you are the candidate you are the person who has been chosen to represent that particular group the candidate lots of people now in the live chat thank you iris for joining me it's lovely to see you here and congratulations on finding me what part of england are you in mr duncan asks fs ben i am in a place called shropshire shropshire is the county and the place where i live is called much wenlock much wenlock Tabriz is here. Hello, Tabriz. Tabriz says, Mr. Duncan, we love you. Thank you very much, Tabriz, for that. And thank you very much for joining me today on this special day because we are voting for a new government at the moment here in the UK. Apparently, Tabriz is watching in Cyprus. Thank you very much for joining me today. Don't forget, besides this live stream, you can catch me every Sunday. So every Sunday I am live on YouTube from 2 o'clock UK time. So 2 p.m. UK time every Sunday. You can catch me live on YouTube with two hours of live English. Oh, wow. And don't forget, it's all free. It costs you nothing. Mr. Duncan, what happens today? You're wearing something different. Yes, I thought I would dress up today. I would look a little bit smart because today everything is very serious. We are all voting for a new government here in the UK. So that's the reason why I look very smart today. <laughs> Lots of opinions coming in about Russia and also Putin. Lots of people saying various things. I don't want to get too much into that or else <laughs> it will become a very different type of live stream. So, yes, you can post your vote as well. So some people live very far away from polling stations or perhaps they can't get out of the house. Maybe they are disabled or elderly. So you can post your vote as well you post it before the election begins we call them postal votes mixed berry says why should i watch you then it's up to you you have a brain you have a conscience you have free will enjoy it hi dina from egypt a big hello to you thank you dina for joining me today and it is a special day as i've mentioned all of the politicians all of the people that hope to represent us over the next five years are standing for election i didn't know that the uk election was taking place today says iris well it is it's taking place today here are some of the people who are standing today for election 
you have the Conservative Party, you have Labour, the Labour Party, you also have Liberal Democrats, and also Green, the Green Party, the SNP, that means Scottish National Party, and Independent. So if you are an independent candidate, that means that you don't belong to any of the main parties. You are standing alone. So independent means you are standing alone. You don't belong to any other party. Eugene says, usually I don't follow politics. I have discovered who Theresa May is from your lessons, Mr. Duncan. Well, Theresa May is or was until yesterday the Prime Minister of the UK so the Prime Minister now is being chosen again now the Prime Minister is the leader of the government and there are different parties who try to get elected to run the country and of course I just mentioned the parties Conservative, Labour we have Social Democrats or Liberal Democrats as they're often called we also have the Green Party and also the SNP. They are the ones that want Scotland to be separate from England. Thank you, Eugene, for your message. Hello, Mr. Duncan from Syria. Thank you, Rashid, again. Lone Tran is here. Hello, Lone Tran. It is the first time that I'm joining your lesson. I come from Vietnam. Thank you, Lone, and welcome. Welcome to my special live stream today. I am here for around about one hour, so we have another 25 minutes left to go. Hello, it is the first time I am here. Thank you once again, Lone. Hello, Mr. Duncan. It's Owan Najo. Hello, Owan. Hello, Mr. Duncan. I am glad. I am so glad. I am happy. I am overjoyed to see you today. Me too. I'm pleased to see you as well. How many candidates for the MP post? I know that Theresa May is standing. Yes, we have the Conservative Party. Uh, that is, of course, Theresa May. We have Jeremy Corbyn as well. He is standing for Labour. So those two are the largest parties. They are what we call the main parties. They are the main parties in the country. Conservative and Labour. Probably another way of putting it is to say that Conservative is more towards the right and Labour is more towards the left. I hope I've made that clear. Lots of people now. <laughs> oh, Malaysia is here. Hello, Malaysia. Thank you for joining me. Yanni Lee is here watching in Malaysia. Thank you very much for joining me. And of course, I know Malaysia very well. I have been to Malaysia many times. Yes, the king or queen of England will will reign over the country, but they have no political power anymore. They used to, of course, the king or queen of England or <laughs> the ruler of the country used to dictate everything. But of course, Democracy came along and we had the choice to choose our own leaders. So that is basically the definition of democracy. It gives everyone a chance to vote for who runs the country. Of course, we still have the Queen, but her role nowadays is mainly ceremonial. So she can't get involved with any politics. And also, she is not allowed to express her own opinions as well. Hi from Indonesia, Mr. Duncan. How to speak English fluently? Three words. Practice, practice, practice. Hi, Mr. Duncan. Dodo Dodi is here. Hello, Dodo. Thanks for joining me. We are now live from England on the mobile stream. I hope you are OK today. It is a special day in the UK. We have a general election taking place today. We are now voting for a new 
government here in the UK. Claudio is here. Hello, Claudio. Thanks for joining me. We have another word coming in a moment. Thank you, Claudio, who is watching in Turin. Nice to see you today. Nice to listen to spontaneous English, says Hassan. Yes, everything you see here is spontaneous. I'm not following any script. So everything you see, everything you hear is completely spontaneous. It is not rehearsed. Most of it is not planned. Polling station. There is another word for you now. Polling station. That is the place that I mentioned earlier. That is the place where you cast your vote. So normally a building is put aside or it's designated as being a polling station. So that is the place that you go to to cast your vote. You cast your vote. You make your vote. You make your choice at a polling station. Antonello is here. Hello, Antonello. Thank you for joining me today. Mr. Duncan, could you please tell me, could you please say hello to me? Yes, hello, Antonello. And I am here with my mother listening to you. Well, hello to Antonello and a big hello to Antonello's mother as well. Hi, thanks for joining me today. It's a very special day. Everyone across the UK is going out to vote for a new government and that's the reason why I'm here today <laughs> someone said a couple of weeks ago they said Mr Duncan you should be an MP <laughs> I'm not sure about that <laughs> would you vote for me if I if I was an MP if I was going to stand for election would you vote for me I hope so Pinnit from Thailand is here. Hi, Mr. Duncan. I'm surprised to see you today. It's now 7.30 p.m. Well, in fact, it, it must be 7.40 now in Thailand. It is very late here. Vankesh or Vankatesh is here. Hello, Vankatesh. Thank you for joining me today. Mr. Duncan, can this election change the decision about Brexit? I suppose... If I was being realistic, I would say no. It is highly unlikely that whatever happens today and whoever is voted in, whoever wins today, I don't think it will make any difference to the decision to leave Europe. It is highly, highly unlikely. What is my opinion? <laughs> I am not here to give my opinions today, so I, I can't give you my points of view or my opinions. But, of course, last year we did vote to leave Europe. Yes, Mr. Duncan, if Jeremy Corbyn wins, the Brexit is off. I'm not quite sure about that, because to actually reverse the decision to leave Europe is a big one and it would be very very complex you would have to have another election <laughs> okay people are starting to fight now in the live chat I, I was waiting for this to happen now I knew that eventually someone would disagree with another person and then they would start fighting with each other can we have no fighting please in the live chat <laughs> Is it through? Is it through? He's going to bend over backwards whenever the EU looks at him funny, says Dat. Bend over backwards means that you do anything to please another person. That's actually quite an interesting expression. That's a great expression. If you bend over backwards for someone, it means you give them whatever they want. You, you will do anything to please that person you will bend over backwards that's a very good good expression thank you today I was online in the chat with my tutor teacher and I chat with him with a student from Zimbabwe 
Okay, I don't know what that means. Where is UKIP, Mr. Duncan? Oh, yes, I didn't mention UKIP. Um, UKIP is also standing. I think at the moment they only have one politician in Parliament. Uh, but UKIP, of course, are the UK Independent Party. And they were, were canvassing people last year. They were talking to people last year, trying to get their point of view across because they wanted the UK to leave Europe. And of course, as you know, last year we, we voted here in the UK to leave Europe. So yes, UKIP as well, the UK Independence Party. <laughs> Zana says Theresa May is bloody difficult woman apparently that's not me saying that by the way that is that is Zana so Zana thinks that Theresa May is a bloody difficult woman that's not what I think by the way that's that's Zana's opinion okay UKIP supporters voted for conservatives to get the hard Brexit, says flu Flood. I'm not sure about that because nobody really knows at the moment what will happen when Brexit begins. Because we have about four years of making changes and negotiating with Europe before we can actually leave the European Union. So it's still four years away. Four years before we actually exit Europe. So goodness knows what a hard Brexit is and goodness knows what a soft one is. Mr. Duncan, who is the mayor of your town? We don't have a mayor here because my town is very small. So here we don't have a mayor. We do have a council, though, a local council. Lovely day from Vietnam. A lovely greeting from Vietnam. Hello, Mr. Duncan from Giap or Giap. Yep, Lei Hu. Thank you very much. Flood 14 says socialism kills. That's all they say. Hello, Mr. Duncan. I'm so glad to see you and I understand everything you say. But how can I speak? I have problems with that. There are many ways of improving your spoken English. You can listen to other people and you can copy or mimic the way in which people speak. Of course, you can also listen to your own voice. So you can listen to the way in which you talk, the way you sound, you can listen to it, you can monitor it, you can judge it. And if you don't like the way you speak, you can change it. Hello, Mr. Duncan. The view in your garden is lovely. Do you do your own gardening? Yes. Yes, I do. Sometimes I share the responsibility. I actually share it. So thank you, Norma, for that. Yes, that's that's the weather today. It's not sunny today, even though we had some sunshine earlier. So the weather today is a little bit a little bit gloomy. It's very cloudy here in the UK at the moment. <laughs> Claudio, not Cludio. Claudio. Thank you, Mixed Berry. <laughs> I'm getting people correcting my pronunciation now. Charming. Why, if the Queen is not with political power, tomorrow the new Prime Minister will go to her place? Yes, it's all ceremonial. So many of the things that the Queen of England does is all ceremonial. It is for show. But of course, she is still the ruler of the country. But all political decisions must now be taken place and made by the government. It has been that way for about three or four hundred years. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Duncan. I'm watching you from the UK. Disabled and disabled and can't. Oh, I see. I'm disabled and I can't wait to vote. Thank you. Dankity dank. Dankity dank sounds a bit like blankety blank. Blankety blank. Blankety blank. Blankety blank. Blankety blank. Have you voted for a new government? We are doing that now. That's what's happening today here in, in the UK. So England, Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland are all voting today. 
Zarnia says Mr. Duncan I will vote for you thank you very much maybe next time maybe during the next election maybe I will stand as a politician <laughs> you are very funny oh thank you very much for that hello from Brazil please say hello to Brazil hello Pedro Pedro Luiz Garcia is now watching in Brazil I have lots of people watching in Brazil hello Mr. Duncan what party do you side with Don Joe oh, that is a very private thing people never well normally people don't reveal their political points of view and, and during an election people rarely talk about who they are going to vote for talking of voting here is another word the word is ballot 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 is a system of voting secretly so a ballot is voting secretly so people make their choice but you don't know who those people are it is all done anonymously <laughs> mr duncan your vocabulary is like a fountain thank you very much for that that is what i do i have been teaching english on youtube for over 10 years so i have been here since 2006 a lot of people don't believe me but I have I've been here teaching English on YouTube for over 10 years so I'm sorry Don I can't tell you who I will vote for that is private Wow long Najuin is here thank you very much for joining me today hi from Kurdistan Wasdoki Wasdoki or Wasdoki Eve is here hello to you and a big hi to everyone watching in Kurdistan thank you for joining me today <laughs> who do you stand for Mr Duncan mixed berry you are being very cheeky today very cheeky indeed <laughs> I am not going to tell you who I'm voting for but I have told you who is standing but I won't tell you who I am going to vote for although I will be voting later on today so some people have asked Mr Duncan have you voted yet I haven't voted yet I will be voting later on Amir asks good day Mr Duncan could you please tell us your point of view about nationalism I mean do you prefer free traveling and living in all countries without documents like in the past well of course at the moment immigration and free travel is is a very hot topic in fact in this election here in the UK many people have been talking about that very topic but I think it's one that I won't be talking about today <laughs> could you please explain what to write pepper vote could you please explain what to write pepper vote Kamal I don't know what you mean by that I'm not quite sure what you mean there I think maybe you have got a couple of the words wrong there the main part is already committed to Brexit yes I think so Zana so I think whoever wins I think it's safe to say that Brexit will still take place even though I think the I think the Liberal Democrats have been promising to to reverse Brexit but of course they have very a very small majority at the moment in the House of Commons the House of Commons of course is the seat of political power here in the UK and that is in London Brexit won't change says Don Joe but the deal will be very different under Labour yes I think that's probably a fair point so if the Conservatives win I think Brexit will take on a very different form and if Labour get in I think it will also be an alternate type of Brexit so yes I think that's a fair point Jeremy Corbyn said that the Brexit will happen uh, yes that's true yes the brexit will go ahead whatever happens now I think we are going to get 
the brexit so some people are thinking that the brexit will be negotiated in a very easy and simple way which will allow us to keep many of the things that benefit us so i believe we are calling that a soft brexit and of course a hard brexit is when we don't get what we want mr duncan today you don't wear your hat well no i i don't always wear a hat and now my phone is going <laughs> The telephone in my house is going. Just a moment. It will stop soon. I think. <laughs> Dankity Dank says, I feel that the British people are slightly naive concerning Brexit. You're right. Nobody will make a difference to it. The EU will play hardball. Thank you, Dankity. Dankity dank. Yes, if you play hardball, it means you don't give anything away. It means you you stay resolute and stubborn. So you play hardball. You give nothing away. You make very few compromises. So if you play hardball, it means you don't make any compromises. You are not willing to give anything away. So, yes, may, I'm not sure about whether or not people are naive. I'm not going to talk about that. Quite a few people are asking what I voted last year. Did I vote to leave Europe? I'm not saying. Hello, Mr. Duncan. Please say hi to Santos in Brazil. Hello, Santos. Thank you for joining me today. It's Mr. Duncan talking to the whole world on YouTube via my mobile phone thanks mr duncan for the impartial broadcast oh impartial i'm very tired after campaigning on twitter for many weeks <laughs> oh i see have you have you got a favorite party then i think dankity dank has a favorite party by the way that's a very good word impartial there it is wow how did i know that impartial impartial means to to not view or to, to not give your views or your opinions so if you stay neutral if you don't give your own personal opinions or choose a favorite or show any favoritism you don't do any of those things you are impartial so impartial means that you show no favoritism you do not express your opinions so many of the people on television and those reporting in the newspapers have to be impartial they cannot give their own personal opinion you have to remain impartial we have some more words and we are coming up to 57 minutes i have been here for almost one hour already a big hello from Tobolsk or Tobolsk in Russia. Hello to Russia. A big privit to you. Are children able to go into the polling station? They can if they are with an adult. Of course, children can't vote. So the voting age here is 18. Mr. Duncan, you are indeed handsome. <laughs> thank you very much okay i am now going to go red with embarrassment thank you very much eddie for that mr duncan i am from india kamlesh is here thank you very much what do you mean that the queen has nominal power nominal means the smallest amount or the the smallest quantity nominal so the queen has duties that are ceremonial but for most of the time the queen does not get involved with politics another word now this is actually a phrase you may have heard this before door to door if you go from door to door it means you call at all of the houses so you go around a certain area knocking on the doors you go 
door to door and of course during the past seven weeks many politicians have been going around knocking on the doors and asking for people's opinions they have been going door to door if you just join me it's mr duncan in england on this special day because the uk is going to the polls today we are making a decision we are deciding on who will run this country during the next five years oh will oh will kwan is here hello to you i am from south korea this is my first time to visit your live english stream good to see you thank you very much Nicolay or Nikolai says Mr. Duncan I like Jeremy Corbyn okay that is your opinion did you cast your vote no I will be voting later today I love Mr. Duncan that's no problem I am severely disabled and the Tories took money away because I got epilepsy says dankity dank the Tories, Tories, that's another way of saying Conservatives, Tories. Theresa May said that Jeremy Corbyn would be naked in the next Brexit negotiation chamber. I'm not sure about that. It's, it's not a sight that I would like to see, to be honest. Argentina is watching. Hello, Nelly. Thanks for joining me today. She also said no to a snap election says dankity snap election if something is done snap as a snap decision or a snap choice it means you do it suddenly without warning so if you do something suddenly without warning we can say that it is a snap decision or a snap occurrence or a snap action so Theresa May decided to call for a general election suddenly she called for a snap election can we talk about who we support asks Nelly of course you can it's a free internet you may have noticed that most of the internet is free so if you wish to give your opinion it won't be my opinion of course and of course people in the live chat might disagree with you they might not agree when the brexit comes in is it true that all university students from the eu will have to leave that is one of the things that is unknown there are many unknown things connected to the brexit at the moment many unknown situations we will find out during the next four years it seems quite clear that you are being sponsored by a political party <laughs> i would hazard that it is ukip i'm not being sponsored by anyone <laughs> but thank you very much for that <laughs> as you said you voted to leave europe i didn't actually i didn't say that i voted i said that we as a nation voted there is a difference between me and the nation i am not the nation it's a nice idea though thank you for the compliment <laughs> but no i am not here representing any political party in fact quite a lot of people haven't even decided yet who they are going to vote for if you haven't decided we call that person a swinging voter they are a swinging voter so they haven't decided yet who they are going to vote for <laughs> there are some very interesting messages coming up on here the moment i mentioned politics everyone started to to argue with each other i've got to go now iris is going bye iris see you later iris you can watch the rest of this later because this live stream will be available on YouTube. Here is another word for you now. Duh. Canvas. Canvas. Now this is spelt differently to the other word. 
which means something you paint on. Canvas. Canvas means to go from door to door or to go around asking for people to vote for you or maybe you are asking for people's opinions so if you canvas it means you travel around from place to place asking people to vote for you or to follow you or to agree with you so normally people canvas before an election takes place you canvas you go around asking people who they will vote for and hopefully they will vote for the person who is asking the questions I know it's a silly question yes it is actually <laughs> Fifi asks what exactly is Brexit Brexit is just an abbreviation it means Britain's exit so it is actually a compound between those two words you push the words together so Brexit means British exit or UK exit so we are going to leave the European Union at the moment we are a member but we will be leaving we will be removing ourselves we will be extracting ourselves here in the UK from Europe so that is what Brexit means false nitro is here false nitro is here greetings from Canada thank you false nitro and I think it might be your first time here Mr Duncan who is winning the election at the moment we don't really know because the election is still taking place so people are, are voting at this very moment whilst I'm talking to you people around the country around the UK are going to the polling stations and they are casting their vote they are putting their mark they are choosing who they want to win and they cast their vote so at the moment the votes are still taking place the voting is still happening in a moment you might see Mr Steve drive away by the way Mr Steve is about to go out so if you see a car drive drive behind me you might uh, you might notice Mr Steve going past over there keep looking out for Mr Steve in his car Mr Duncan I still have no clear reason why the UK wants to leave Europe oh my goodness how long have you got have you got a rest the rest of the day maybe the weekend even so there are many reasons one of the main reasons is of course that the feeling is that the UK is being told what to do by Europe so that's it <laughs> I think I think I exp explain that quite well <laughs> very briefly Mr Duncan I watching you whilst I'm doing my homework I have many I have a lot of homework to do so you don't say I have many homework you say I have a lot of homework I have a lot of homework to do but I cannot watch you live because I I cannot stop watching you live because I like chatting with you thank you Owen for that Nelly says yes the UK has to pay a lot of money as well yes millions millions in fact to be a member of the European Union so yes that is one of the other reasons but the main reasons are finance the money we have to pay here in the UK and also the fact that many people are unhappy with being told what to do by Europe it's like my tie <laughs> can you help me to improve my academic English I have to make a master in English well that is something you should already have prepared if you have got to the stage where you are going to sit an academic exam then you you need to already have something there to be honest that is the whole point of studying oh Mr Duncan your suit suits you <laughs> mm, suits you sir I'm curious what are the differences between the UK 
English and Canadian English. There are many similarities. In fact, British English is used in Canada and American English, of course, is used in the USA. I'm sure someone is going to disagree with that. <laughs> They're going to come round and give me a big punch in the face. I think so. Immigration was the other topic. Yes, immigration was one of the reasons why the UK voted to leave Europe. It is a very controversial subject. Not many people want to talk about it, but I think it would be fair to say that immigration was definitely one of the things that people were concerned with. When will we know the result? It will be early tomorrow morning. So tonight the votes will stop. The polls will close and then the votes will be counted. Millions and millions of votes will be counted during the night and then we should know the result at around about normally around about three or maybe four o'clock in the morning normally we have an idea of who will win or who is ahead hello from west borneo mr duncan i am an indonesian citizen but if i were in england i would vote for you as many times as possible thank you candy for that thank you very much that's very very kind of you many people saying that i look very smart today yes i'm wearing my suit do you like it i, I actually bought this suit this jacket when i was living in china so during my time in china when i was working and teaching there i actually bought this suit during my time in china I have learned all my English from your videos. Thank you so much. I could not do it without you. I could not speak English without you. Thank you, Mohammed Shukre. Thank you very much. You are more than welcome. Thank you very much. It's very kind of you to say. Hugo is here. Hello, Hugo. Thanks for joining me. I started to hear you a couple of days ago. Oh, just a couple of days ago. Wow. And now I can understand completely what you are saying. I am very impressed by your diction in English. A lot of people compliment my diction. They say Mr. Duncan has a lovely diction. They talk about my diction everywhere. Here is another word. In fact, it's a word and I suppose you could say it's almost a sentence, but it is actually a phrase. Exit poll. Now, normally, after people have cast their votes, after they have made their decision and they have put their vote in the box, quite often there will be people outside waiting to ask them how they voted. They will ask who they chose, who they voted for. So the exit poll is normally done as people leave. So you ask how people voted. And from that, you normally have an idea of what the result will be. Of course, sometimes exit polls can be wrong. They can be very inaccurate. So there we go, exit poll. So that is normally done as people leave the polling station after they have registered their vote, after they have made their vote. Who do you think will win today? <sighs> do you really think I'm going to answer that question? Who do I think will win? I think at the moment, not from a personal opinion, but it would seem that from what many of the commentators are saying, it might be somewhere in the middle. And if that happens, then we will have what they call a hung parliament. So there is no decisive winner. There is no outright winner. Yes, Joshua says the exit polls were very inaccurate. Yes, they were wrong, weren't they, during the US election? Yes, uh, many of the exit polls were incorrect. Some people think that quite often if they are asked who they vote for, sometimes people will lie. They will say that they voted for, for that person, but really they voted for that person. So sometimes people may lie when they are 
asked who they voted for well it was fun tuning in but i have to leave for school good luck with the election thank you uh, false nitro you are welcome false nitro i'm glad you were able to join me today for this live stream i have now been here for one hour and 14 minutes hello from iraq hello iraq arawa hardy is here thank you very much we also have oman watching salim salim is here thank you for joining me if there is a hung parliament will there be a coalition government yes there will in fact three or four years ago we did have a coalition government we had uh, the conservatives running the country alongside the liberal democrats so they shared the responsibility of running the country mr duncan i wish one day i can see you because i admire you a lot you are the best teacher in the world thank you very much for that you are you are very kind i am watching <laughs> i am watching in the bathtub you are having a bath says simon Kurtrail or Kurtrand. Simon is now watching me in the bathtub. There is no answer to that. All I can say is please keep hold of the soap. Don't lose the soap, whatever you do, just in case you slip over and drown. <laughs> Who is this bald man? Do you mean me? Says Van Damme's frosty mullet. Who is this bald man? I, I, I assume you mean me. I think so. I am Mr. Duncan and I teach English. I'm guessing that quite a few people have strayed onto this because they are looking out for news to do with the election. But I teach English on YouTube and today I'm talking all about the general election. But you are more than welcome to join me. Mr. Claude Van Damme's frosty mullet. Of course, he's very frosty because Jean-Claude Van Damme is always rolling around in the snow, isn't he? And drinking beer all the time. I think so. Oh, we have we have a super chat donation. Thank you very much. Ten dollars from Lee Raz Noy. Thank you very much, Lee Raz. Thanks for your amazing live chat. You are the best English teacher. Thank you, Lee Raz. You are very, very kind. And don't forget, the, the super chat will allow you to make donations to allow my work to continue. I have been doing this for over 10 years. It's true. <laughs> you can check my YouTube channel and you will see that I launched this way back in 2006. So many years ago. We love you from Istanbul. Istanbul, not Constantinople. I have been to Turkey twice. Turkey, a beautiful country. I'm excited to see who wins, Mr. Duncan. Me too. I must admit, many people are, are very excited. They are very anxious to find out what the result will be from this election. What is the yellow board up? I don't know what that means. What is the yellow board up? I'm not quite sure what that means. Yes, Anna's place is very excited. If she had the choice, she would vote for the Labour Party. OK, that is your choice. Salim is watching in Oman at the moment. Is the entirety of this live stream going to be conducted in your conservatory? <laughs> Thank you, Van Dam. Mr. Van Dam. Hello there. I am not in my conservatory. I'm actually in the front of my house. This is actually my living room. But behind me, you can see basically Shropshire. So the view behind me is actually Shropshire. The Shropshire Hills, because that's where I live. That's where I am. When will we hear the first result? Asks Simon. We should hear the first results during the early hours of tomorrow morning. So I am planning to stay up all night to watch the coverage on the television. So during the night, there will be lots of coverage on television. 
lots of pundits and experts and commentators all giving their opinions and during the early hours of tomorrow morning around about three or maybe four o'clock we should know what the result will be herba or heba gull says love you mr duncan lots of kisses as well mm. thank you very much for that <laughs> i'm very flattered the view behind you at the moment is beautiful thank you very much it is a very dull day today i think the weather today is really summing up the uh, the atmosphere because everyone's feeling very gloomy at the moment for, for various reasons how close were the last polls um the last poll you mean for this election or the last election well as i remember if memory serves me correct the polls for the last election were, were very inaccurate they were incorrect so sometimes people like to guess what the result will be. They like to guess. They like to try and work out what the result will be. But quite often they get it very wrong. We mentioned exit polls earlier. So the exit poll normally is when people ask how they voted after they leave the polling station, after they have voted. We have people now commenting on the election. Good morning from Brazil. Rosa is here. TV coverage begins at 9 p.m. Your time. Is that right? I think so. Yes. Normally on the BBC. So we have BBC News and also we have Sky TV. So Sky News and also BBC News. They will cover the election during the night. So the election, the poll will end at 10 p.m. 10 p.m. tonight. Van Dam says, if I vote for the Green Party, should I be thrown from a nearby cliff? Of course not. You just need to, to find the nearest tree and give it a lovely hug. So don't worry too much about that. Here we have another word. This is our final word for today because I will be going in a moment. Our final word is anonymous, anonymous. This means that something has been done in secret without the identity being known. So if you do something in an anonymous way, it means you do it without anyone knowing who that person is. So perhaps you do something anonymously, you do it without anyone knowing who you are. So when you cast your vote, your vote is anonymous. So your name is not on the piece of paper. It is anonymous. Nobody knows what Mr. Duncan voted for or who he voted for. <laughs> Nobody knows. The votes are all anonymous. Mr. Duncan, Russians do things anonymously. I've got Hillary Clinton now on my live chat. I can't believe it. Hello, Hillary. How are you today? Are you OK? I hope so. Don't go. Stay live all day. You want me to stand here all day talking to you live? I don't think I could do that all day. I don't think I could talk to you all day. I'm sorry about that, doozer. Unless, of course, you use a pencil to make your vote. Oh, I see. Van Damme. Yes, you could probably change the vote if you use a pencil. But of course, even if you write on the paper, you will still leave a mark. So even if you write with a pencil and then they remove the pencil mark, there will still be an indentation. The mark will still be there. So they will know that that vote has been tampered with someone has changed that vote someone has altered it it has been tampered with tamper that's a great word if you tamper with something it means you make changes you change you fiddle 
you do something to it you tamper with it hello from London we have London live news network here oh hello there thank you for joining me today this is mr. Duncan normally I teach English on YouTube I have been doing this now for over 10 years but today we are doing something very different because we are having a general election we are voting for a new government here in the UK the government will be in power for the next five years so a very long time so this new government will be a very crucial one because they will be responsible for taking the UK out of Europe I'm sure many of you are aware that we are about to leave the European Union hello from London thank you London live news London live this is London live news you can use that if you want I, I'm very I'm very available if you want to use my voice on your jingles or your promotions this is the London live news network did you like that let's all hope a woman gets in hmm no prizes for guessing who you are voting for <laughs> there is only one woman standing unless they call a snap election again oh yes you never know I mean to be honest during the past couple of years politics has been a little bit crazy don't you think so the world of politics all of the things that take place in politics have been a little bit turbulent oh I love that word turbulent unsettled volatile so volatile turbulent unsettled mr. Duncan thank you that sounds good oh yes okay then if you want to use that you can London live news network this is the London live news network there you go there's two more there <laughs> If you want to use them you're more than welcome to mr. Duncan I know speak English I I speak English do I'm Brazilian hello Wesleyan Christian you're welcome here don't worry even if you only know a little bit of English you are more than welcome to join me don't forget later this live stream will be available with subtitles so later today you will be able to watch this with subtitles so don't worry you will be able to watch the whole live stream and later on there will be subtitles as well <gasps> thanks you're welcome Ad Ham. I dare ham is here we're getting lots of other subjects being talked about at the moment hi mr. Duncan it's nice to listen to you after a hard day at work Simona is here hello Simona one of my regular viewers on my YouTube channel thank you for joining me today of course it is a special day I have been talking about words that are related to today's election in the UK so that is the reason why I am here today and that is what I have been doing you may notice behind me that there are some birds flying by lots of things going on behind me <laughs> lots of pigeons flying around at the moment Turkey is here hello Turkey my name is LPS LPS I'm not sure if that's your name or maybe a pseudonym maybe you are going under an assumed name we won't know who wins the election for many many hours not until tomorrow morning not until the early hours of tomorrow but who do you think will win as I mentioned earlier let me just show you the list that I had Where is my list gone? Here we go. So here is the list of 
parties taking part in the election so there we go we have conservative labor liberal democrat and also the green party the scottish national party and also ukip i was criticized earlier because i left ukip out for no reason please don't start attacking me <laughs> and also independent if you are independent it means that you are not connected to any political party you are standing alone you are standing as an independent candidate thanks for your effort mr duncan ahmed you are welcome i love doing this i wish i could be here every day talking to you live i really do have you ever visited saudi arabia abderham i have never been there no never 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 thank you how can i get more classes apart from this class thank you Muiz. i do have a youtube channel and on my youtube channel there are over 500 english lessons so there are many many english lessons on my youtube channel hello mr duncan when will you come to the netherlands i have actually been to the netherlands many years ago i did actually go there mr duncan here's an interesting question mr duncan will you be able to teach english on youtube after brexit it won't make any difference you'll be pleased to hear that after brexit i will still be here on youtube it won't make any difference so that's one thing i do know about brexit that's the one definite thing i will still be here on youtube teaching english so please don't worry please don't worry don't fret i am not going away i'm not leaving youtube mr duncan love from turkey lps thank you very much of course i have been to turkey in the past i went to turkey twice and had a super duper time welcome to china mr duncan well i have been to china before way back in 2003 i went to live in china and i did live there for over four years so i i do know china very well i actually did live in china living and also working as an english teacher i am also being invited to visit bangladesh as well apo thank you very much for that do you know vietnam i know vietnam very well i've never been to vietnam yet algeria is here thank you algeria you are very welcome <laughs> do you know any chinese words i do speak chinese idiandian 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 means a little but of course i can sing in chinese would you like to hear a chinese song would you like to hear me sing in chinese <laughs> maybe not pavlodar is here hello from pavlodar in kazakhstan and that's michaland michaland or mickland mickland thank you for joining me thanks for your answer mr duncan uh, that's it i'm more than willing to answer your questions no problem please mr duncan please can you sing in chinese okay then just a very short chinese song just very quickly here we go ni wen wo ai ni o do shen wo ai ni o qi fen wo de qi pu yan wo de ai pu bian yue liang dai biao wang de xing ni wen wo ai ni o do shen wo ai ni o qi fen ni chu shan ni shan ni chu kan ye kan yue liang dai biao wang de xing <laughs> that's a very well-known chinese song called the moon represents my heart and that was sung by a young lady many years ago called deng li jun amazing mr duncan says ismail thank you very much 
welcome back to turkey i would love to come back to turkey one day i have spent some lovely lovely times in turkey mr duncan we like the song but what does it mean you ask if my love is true you ask if my love is deep my love is true my love is deep the moon resembles my heart that's what the song means that is the translation thank you very much mr duncan a beautiful song ab abdel abdelham is leaving now see you later abdelham thank you very much shaima is here i am good thank you but i want to speak fluently i watch your videos for a long time and i went to a course to teach pupils oh i see so you were teaching pupils with your videos it was very interesting oh i see so you were learning from my video lessons in class oh thank you very i'm very intrigued by that mr duncan how old are you many people are interested in my age i don't know why why are so many people concerned with my age i don't know why <laughs> it's like being back in china it used to happen all the time when i was in china people would always ask mr duncan how old are you i don't know why mr duncan can you speak arabic no i can't i don't know any arabic who is winning in the election at the moment it, at the moment we don't know so all it's happening at the moment is lots of people are trying to guess so they are guessing who will win they are trying to work out who the winner will be but at the moment nobody knows you sweet you sing so sweetly thank you estella for that do you think that you want to make like an official something on youtube i'm not sure what that is don't forget i do have a youtube channel with all of my lessons on i have been here on youtube teaching english for over 10 years well mr duncan finally we see you the first time to join you live says wendy yang hello wendy ni hao where are you watching are you watching in china perhaps you are please speak turkish please speak turkish please mr duncan please keep going you are amazing says shunkst shunkst i hope i pronounce your name right there i know you don't care but i am telling you my name is abdel rahman of course i care i care about everyone who joins my lessons so yes don't say that mr duncan you sing very well thanks a lot i hope you enjoyed my chinese song mr duncan in the uk you're very lucky because you have an election law yes the elections are carried out under strict supervision so everything that happens during the election is is watched and monitored very closely it's watched intently oh i like that word intently hello mr duncan from farol in spain i am in japan but i am chinese oh i see okay so i was right you are chinese but you are not in china you are now in japan a very fascinating country which languages sound the best in your opinion alina um well i don't think there's a language that sounds the best i mean I, I, of course i'm going to say english because i teach english so there are many languages that sound lovely that sound very nice i do quite like the french language as well <laughs> bonjour bonjour monsieur je m'appelle monsieur duncan i love your pappy duncan my pappy i'm not sure what my pappy is <laughs> i th i think that means father doesn't it okay let's let's not go into that the most friendly teacher 
who also has a great voice do you mean me thank you very much for that can you see outside it's it's becoming very bright now outside the sun has now come out here in england it's very sunny now mr duncan the law is unconstitutional and the parliament elected with the law has to make one constitution yes well a constitution is normally an agreement of rules so every country or many countries certainly democratic countries tend to have some form of constitution this means that we have an agreed list of rules or guidelines okay i'm just making some changes excuse me arwa is here mr duncan say i'm not sure if i'm going to say that just in case it's a rude word sometimes people get me to say words in other languages and quite often they turn out to be swear words so i <laughs> shako mako I hope I've said nothing. I hope I haven't said anything rude there. I really do. <laughs> Mr. Duncan, can you speak Scottish? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> do you mean the Scottish accent? Because, of course, many people in Scotland speak English, but with a Scottish accent. And, of course, there is also Gaelic as well. Jeremy Corbyn is oh i'm not going to repeat that that's terrible how dare you karen <laughs> we're trying to keep it sensible and polite today so please do not insult any of the politicians hello mr duncan it is my first time joining you uh, i have a question did the stories improve the english language if yet if yes what stories can you advise when people ask me to give them advice about what to read, I always say read anything, anything you can get your hands on, anything, picture, books, posters, movies with subtitles, novels, short stories, long stories, anything. So if you can find something to read, read it. So that is actually my advice to you. Thank you. Umania or Umena, Mema, Umema. We get there eventually. Mr. Duncan, it, it is now night time in China. Yes, it is. It's very late now. I would imagine that it is nearly tomorrow. <laughs> oh, OK. It is not rude. Oh, good. Uh, it, it means, how are you? Oh, OK. Thank you very much for that. Thank you. So, so the word that I said earlier is not swearing. Good. What is your favourite idiom? British or American? British or American? I don't know what you mean by that. Do you mean types of speech? Well, of course, I'm British, but I like both, to be honest. I like British English and American English. They are both interesting. Mr. Duncan, can you say... Can you say cheeky breaky? I hope this isn't swearing. Thank you, Captain Lenlen. <laughs> I hope that wasn't swearing. I really do. <laughs> uh, that's a shame that you don't know Vietnam. Well, I've never been to Vietnam. I do, of course, know Vietnam, but I, I've never been there. Maybe in the future, I would like to travel a little bit more. Mr. Duncan. <laughs> Mr. Duncan. What Arab countries do you know? Oh, I see. I think I'm going to fall into a trap here if I'm not careful. <laughs> well, of course, I know Saudi Arabia. I know all of the Middle East countries. Thank you very much. Will the election result affect the future referendum for Scottish independence? Ah, that is a very, very good question. Of course, at the moment, Scotland is trying to remove itself from the United Kingdom. 
and this has been a debate that's been going on for some time now so at the moment it seems quite uncertain as to what the future holds for that particular subject for that particular debate do you understand Gaelic asks Maria no I don't I don't understand Gaelic it's a very different language it's different from English Mr Duncan tomorrow I will have a report in English oh I am a little worried about my speaking oh Wendy well all I can say for now is good luck I will give you a thumbs up for luck and I hope your test goes well do you know something about IELTS I will be talking about IELTS this weekend Mr Duncan I love you so much you are great I always watch your videos they're so useful thank you nor nor Zen you are very welcome of course today here in the UK it's a very special day we have the general election the general election basically means that the whole country the whole of the United Kingdom goes out to vote of course there are some people who don't vote so there are some people who make the choice not to vote hello from Mexico it's the first time that I'm chatting with you today it's amazing Abril hello Abril and welcome a big hello to you watching in Mexico at the moment I do have a lot of people watching in Mexico I have to say quite a few people how are you today Duncan I missed your last lesson but I updated it after yes of course I was live on YouTube last Sunday and of course don't forget you can catch me this Sunday as well so this Sunday I will be live on YouTube for two hours from 2 p.m. UK time and you can catch me every Sunday every single Sunday Saturino is here hello Saturino nice to see you my friend Nancy is English and she will vote for UKIP Mr Duncan I'm sorry but Shako Mako is the most famous Iraqi sentence and it is a kind of greeting in Iraq okay then Shako Mako I hope I pronounced it right can you make a lesson about IELTS or TOEFL I already have on my YouTube channel there is a lesson all about the English tests so in that lesson I talk about all of the English tests we asked in the last lesson what is your favorite phrase mine is use it or lose it oh yes I like that one yes so it means that if you don't do something regularly or if you don't practice something on a regular basis you might forget how to do it so quite often we use that to express doing something or do it regularly so you don't forget how to do it use it or lose it so that could be used when we're talking about English so if you don't use English you will lose your English you must practice it all the time it's so nice to see you Mr Duncan I am watching in Japan Yoshi is here thank you Yoshi and a big hello to you watching at the moment in Japan I hope you can hear me okay Mr Duncan thank you so much it is a good thing that I have already seen many of your videos thank you Wendy no problem so over the next 24 hours we will find out here in the UK who will be running the country for the next five years five years that's a very long time very long time indeed Captain Len Len asks Mr Duncan are you a religious man and if you are do you praise do you ever pray I don't follow any religion I would not call myself a religious person so no is the answer to that Mr Duncan thanks a lot I look forward to your tutorial videos you are welcome no problem 
what is your favorite book i do like reading biographies i like reading stories about other people's lives marina is going now sorry mr duncan i have to go now have a nice day and i love your lessons thank you marina see you later don't forget i am back live on youtube this sunday i will be here on sunday salvatox salvatox grazia i love your name who does mr steve vote for that also is private <laughs> thank you for this lesson thank you for this lesson mr duncan from moscow of course russia is saying hello there thank you very much Mohammed Shakur is going now. See you later. And of course, I will be back here on Sunday from 2 p.m. UK time. There are no results yet in the election because it's very early. So people are still voting here in the UK. So the voting is still taking place at the moment. I am Iman or Imane from paris and i am watching your live stream with my friend in france jomza jomza i think that might be a greeting thank you emain for that and you are watching at the moment in france a big bonjour to you oh leon oh leon it's not fair leon is having a bad internet connection he is having difficulty connecting to my live stream. Uh, anyway, the good news is you can watch this again later. And hopefully there will be subtitles later on. So tonight you should be able to watch it with the subtitles. Mr. Duncan, have you ever been to Italy? I have never been to Italy. Never in my life. Thank you very much for that. Squinternet. I love your name, by the way. I like your nickname. Squinternet. <laughs> Sometimes when, when I don't have my reading glasses, I have to squint. <laughs> so if you squint, it means you close your eyes a little bit so you can see things clearer. You squint. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Duncan. I always watch your videos and I've learned a lot. Thank you, Yoshi, for that. Saturino says, do you like the politics and politicians? I hate politicians, says Saturino. OK, well, some people don't like politics at all. They, they hate politics very much. So some people are not fans of politics. They don't like them. So no, that is true. I am going to go in a moment. Zana is going right now. Thank you, Zana, for joining me. Wendy is going as well, I think. Is Wendy leaving me? Recently, you are the alarm clock of mine because I wake up first thing in the morning and the first thing I do is open your videos. Thank you, Wendy. That's a very good way of improving and learning English. And of course, some people like to listen to videos or like to listen to things being said whilst they sleep it's a very good way of learning hi mr duncan it's nice to see you to watch your live stream thank you petchy please don't leave please don't leave us oh well sadly i will have to go in a moment it is now what time is it now it is now coming up to three o'clock here in the uk in fact Right now, it is exactly three o'clock. So I will be going in a moment. Hillary Clinton wants to put me over her knee and spank me. Oh, yes. Well, fortunately, I haven't been a naughty boy because I'm always good and polite. So you won't be able to spank me today, I'm afraid. You won't be able to. Sorry about that. Hello, Mr. Duncan. How are you? I'm always watching your live streams from London. Thank you, Schwan. Schwan Bakur. Thank you. You are welcome. I am going in around about 
two minutes so just two more minutes and then i will be gone don't forget the general election is taking place today some people are very interested in politics whilst others are not so some people like politics some people like to talk about politics whilst other people they they tend to avoid talking about politics they don't like to discuss it so leon says thank you mr duncan i hope it won't happen again on sunday it will happen on sunday i will be here on sunday live from two o'clock so actually i will be here on sunday it was a pleasure stumbling across your live feed says joshua joshua rex you are welcome no problem wendy is now in her office and it is very late it is now the middle of the night yes i would imagine that it must be maybe around about midnight now in japan awa asks for my opinion about the politics in iraq well of course i can't really comment on other countries politics because i am not knowledgeable about everything to do with any particular place so i'm not going to start giving my opinions about other people's politics because i'm not an expert i will save that for all of the commentators on television <laughs> i love your teaching videos mr duncan they help me a lot chi ching you are welcome no problem have you voted yet no i haven't voted yet i will be going out to vote a little bit later on so i haven't cast my vote yet so if you cast your vote it means you make your vote you make your decision you cast your vote you put the vote into the box you have cast your vote it is mexico watching it is abril hello abril it is great to wake up with your videos it is now nine o'clock in the morning in mexico well a big hello to you michael banikoff asks mr duncan are you a famous person in england no i'm not famous in england no definitely not when i walk down the street nobody knows who i am and i love it i love it i remember when i was in china because i was on tv uh, uh, many times in china i appeared on television and one of the problems with appearing on television in china is everyone knows you and i appeared quite often on the local television channel and so many people walking around quite often i would be doing my shopping and people would be walking around me and then someone would come up and say hello i know who you are you're you're mr duncan from the television you're the english teacher yes so that did happen a lot but here in england no one knows who i am i can walk around and no one knows who i am and i love it leon louis says i love to listen to your lessons you are welcome lena john says mr duncan i listen to you and i'm doing my homework at the same time both of the ways are very nice thank you very much i wish you good luck thank you very much lena wendy is still here mr duncan wish you have a nice day i need to go back to my home now see you on sunday yes i will be here on sunday i am going in a moment just a couple of more minutes and then i will be gone so just one or two hellos before i go thank you laura leora thank you very much for teaching today yes today we have been talking all about the general election which is taking place right now here in the uk so that is the topic that is the topic of today's live stream i hope you have enjoyed it it has lasted for almost two hours i've been here for nearly two hours can you believe it so 
goodbye to Leora thank you very much moo ma who do you think will win today uh, I have no opinion at the moment I'm not going to say we will find out tomorrow we will find out who will win tomorrow thank you Mr Duncan see you soon thank you Mika oh hello Mika I didn't see you there oh I see Zenon Sitch dear Mr Duncan in Ukraine we know you and we love your lessons thank you very much it's very nice to know that I have lots of viewers in Ukraine thanks a lot I am going in around about one minute so I will be going in around about one minute I have been here for nearly two hours already can you believe it Chi Ching says I am from Malaysia and before I studied abroad in Melbourne before then I studied abroad in Melbourne I was watching your videos every day now I can speak fluent English I am so happy to have a good teacher from YouTube thank you Chi Ching who is now watching in Malaysia in fact one of my friends is now living in Melbourne in Australia one of my students who I used to teach in China and also was one of my best friends in China whatever you are talking it is always fun thank you Leon you are very kind that's very kind of you to say thank you it's a pity you are going I will catch you later thank you Catherine Foggs Catherine another regular viewer thank you very much for that will we see you again on Sunday yes I will be here live on YouTube I will be in my studio on Sunday so I won't be standing here in my living room I will actually be in the studio so I hope you can join me this Sunday from 2 p.m. UK time is there a polling station near you is there a place to make your vote or to cast your vote is there one nearby yes there is in the local town the local town center there is a polling station in fact I can walk there it takes me about half an hour to walk from here into town I love the view from your window thank you Moo Ma you are welcome yes that is Shropshire you can see at the moment the Sun has now come out when I started today's live stream it was very dull and very dark but now the Sun has come out and everything is okay thank you for teaching we'll see you in the next lesson you are welcome thank you very much Mr Duncan it is really useful you are welcome Lena John I am going now I will see you on Sunday so I will be on my YouTube channel live this Sunday from 2 p.m. UK time I hope you have enjoyed the last two hours of live streaming I have been here for two hours thanks for joining me and do you have the next premiere at your studio on Sunday well I will be there on Sunday I think you mean preview on Sunday we will be talking about the English test we will also be talking about idioms also I will be asking you some questions on the live chat so lots of things lots of fun and lots of English coming this Sunday this is Mr Duncan in the birthplace of the English language saying thanks for joining me today the general election here in the UK is continuing and the polls will close tonight at 10 p.m. and then tomorrow morning in the early hours of tomorrow morning we will find out who will be governing the UK for the next five years so thanks for watching thank you very much two hours is really a long time thank you again yes I've been here standing here talking to you for two hours and don't forget everything you see on my YouTube channel is free it costs you nothing Sam says Mr Duncan you must do a tour around the world 
I think so. Maybe one day I will do a world tour and I will visit lots of countries. I think so. Bye for now. Bye, Agnaldo. Bye, Hillary Clinton. Oh, Hillary Clinton apparently has fallen in love with me. <gasps> but Hillary, Hillary, you're married. I'm sorry. I don't think Bill will be very happy. I really don't. Have a super day. Have a nice day. Juan, Mariana, Simona, I will be back here on Sunday from 2 p.m. UK time. This is Mr. Duncan for the final time on this special election day stream live from England saying thanks for watching me teaching you today and of course until Sunday you know what's coming next you do I think so to ta for now bye enjoy the rest of your day